This is Dubious Insight. So I have a couple of pendulum videos where I sew motion of the pendulum like this. This is one of the videos, this is a segment from one of the videos where the pendulums are swinging back and forth. Uh, what I want to do now is show a little bit of the code that goes behind the pendulums. Uh, so it's not that complicated. Effectively, all I did was implement two equations that shows the motion of the pendulum. The first equation is to calculate the period of the pendulum, and that is 2 times pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum over gravity. Gravity is a constant 9.81 meters per second, and so I just varied the length um, until I got periods that I wanted. And then the second uh, equation that we're implementing is, let's see, this is just search for period uh, pendulum equation. This comes up, and this is a Penn State University site. And we need to say that the, I sim use a simple simplification. And we say that the theta is the amplitude times the cosine times the uh, natural frequency times time. And natural frequency is two pi divided by um, the period. So what this ends up being, if we turn this into code, there's uh, we have to have something that does the plotting, and I'm using Manum for that, but I also used Pi Game for that, and there's other things you can do. And I'm not going to show you the uh, actual gooey part, the making the video, because you can use Manum, you can use Pi Game, there's a lot of things you can use. But the back end of that is just how do you figure out what the position of the pendulum is? And like I said, this is a simplification. Um, this is the small angle simplification. If you want the big angles, you have to go to this uh, a little bit more complicated equation. Um, I plotted big angles, but technically it's not completely correct. So we find the period, and that's 2 times pi times the square root of length over gravity. So that's this equation, 2 times pi times square root of length over gravity. Um, we're tracking the time, so this when we update position, we're passing in the time step a time delta, dt delta time. Then we get the position, the theta position. And so that's going back to this equation. We have uh, max amplitude times the cosine. Um, and this would be 2 pi divided by the period times time. So that is max amplitude times the cosine. 2 pi divided by the period times time. They don't have a phase offset or a theta offset in there, but you can, a phase offset. That's what this is. And then once you have theta, you need to turn that into an x and a y coordinate that can be plotted. So x is just the length of the pendulum times the sine of theta, and y is negative length times, or uh, negative length times the cosine. And then you save that up as a position. I'm also saving the total periods traverse because I'm making another kind of cool plot as it spins around. Um, so this is how you could would update one position, one pendulum. I have a pendulum class. And so then I'm calling into that pendulum class with multiple pendulums. Um, so here, for instance, I am saying I'd like to determine I'd like to set the length such that this pendulum will have 30 cycles per minute so its period is 60 divided by the number of cycles per minute and the length um, is the inverse of this equation solving for length so that sets the length and then um, I make a pendulum with that length and I'm then update it. And so when I do that, when I specify the number of periods in a minute, then what that means is after a minute, they all end up going through an even number of periods. And as a result, they all line up like this. Although I said a minute, but then I actually slowed everything down by I think 50% to make it a little more easy to see. So, uh, not that complicated. I made it a little more complicated initially because um, I try, wanted to do something more complicated so I could do a double pendulum, which the math is a lot more complicated. And so I tried to basically recreate 
uh, finite element solutions to this. It didn't work very well for me. I don't know why, but it didn't work. So this is a simple pendulum, uh, and it's fairly simple. I will post this, um, this code. I work at Google, so it's all copyright this Apache 2 license. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dubious Insights.